today we will be talking about tundra biomes. Tundra biomes are located in parts of Alaska, northern Canada, the outside part of Greenland, entire Iceland, Norway, some part of Sweden, and northern part of Russia. The tundra is the coldest and driest biome of, out of all the other biomes in the world. There is very less precipitation there, only 10 inches of rain fall, making it very dry. There are four seasons, this winter, summer, spring, and fall. The winter lasts for a very long time, the summer lasts for a short time, while fall and spring are almost unnoticeable. When the summer season starts, the sun stays up for 24 hours a day and never sets. While in the winter, the sun never rises, remaining always dark. When it comes to the tundra biome, there are two types of it. One is the Arctic, Arctic and the other one is the Alpine. The Arctic is where s snow covers the entire land at all elevations, while at Alpine, the only at the top of the mountains have tundra biome conditions. Tundra biome is only located within the North and South Pole. The main characteristics in the tundra biome is known for its permafrost. Permafrost means frozen soil. So basically, um, this ground level is entirely frozen. On top of that is a different soil. In the summer, the soil starts to thaw. Then, bushes and other shrubs start to grow on it. However, they cannot grow so high because there is not because the permafrost is blocking them from getting nutrients. Also, the roots don't have space for them to grow longer. When the ice starts to melt in the summer, it cannot go down because of the it cannot go down through groundwater because the permafrost is blocking it by going through. So these melted this me the melted water will have to either create a pond or a lake. Most animals often stay in the summer. However, in the winter, winter, most of the animals either migrate or some animals have some special winter adaptations. Some have antifreeze while others have thick coats of fur to protect themselves from the bitter cold. On the land, some animals like the arctic fox and the polar bears have thick furs to protect them. However, in the ocean, most animals like the orca have thick body fat to protect themselves from the cold. Now we will go and create our tundra diorama. And I will be doing this. So let's begin our tundra diorama. I have a shoebox, I have a blue construction paper, and I have some um, fake gems to layer the rocks. I, I also have some arctic animals and um, sand and snow. So now let's begin our tundra diorama. Let's first put the sand um, in this place. Let's spread the sand um, out so, um, so we can have space to put our snow. This land is called permafrost and that's why I'm putting the sand. Permafrost um, is a frozen ground. So now I put my sand. I put my sand on my um, shoe box. So let's put some grass because the permo um, ground is co is covered with um, grass on it. Um. Okay, now let's put the snow on top of the grass. That's all. We covered our uh, ground with snow. Let's put some animals.
They're sea creatures, and these are land creatures. So this is an igloo. This is um a wolf eating a rabbit. This is a fox trying to sniff out food, and this is um a um polar bear eating a, a baby seal. This is all about Arctic tundra diorama.